Hey, 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 you guys, what is up? Hey, welcome to The Crochet Lady. I'm your host, DZ, and today I'm gonna share with you a really cool, fun pattern. This is the four triangle square. Let's get a close up. Okay, you can chain any number. You can chain like 12 or 13. That, that's about a dishcloth size when you use a size seven or eight millimeter afghan hook. This makes a really great gift. This works up really fun. I think you guys are really gonna like this. Um, also, I include instructions for this really simple border. Super easy, really quick. All right, uh, supplies, Premier cotton polyester mix. Um, of course, you can use whatever you have on hand. And size seven millimeter afghan hooks. All right, I'll see you guys at the crochet corner in just one second. Get your chain. Okay, I have my chain. And we're going to pick up a loop in the next two, two chains. Into the next chain. Okay, now we have three loops on our hook. So we're gonna slip stitch into that first loop on the hook there. And then yarn over and pull through two. Next, we're gonna make the right side increase. So skipping your first bar, insert your hook into the little bar just above. Pick up your vertical bar here. Insert your hook into the next chain. Slip stitch it into the last loop on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, we're gonna do the increase. First stitch. And this is just Tunisian simple stitch. We're going to grab the next vertical bar, insert your hook into the next chain, pick up a loop, slip stitch it, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. So we're going to continue the pattern the same way, continuing with your right side increase for every row until you reach the last chain, which you're going to work that too. So let's go through this. We're going to make our right side increase, grab the next bar, that's your Tunisian simple stitch from the row below, your next bar. And the last bar here. Pick up a loop in the next chain. Slip stitch it to the last loop on the hook. And then yarn over and pull through two loops back to the beginning of each row. All right, so I will see you guys in just a few quick seconds. Okay, so let's work the last part of the first triangle together. So I'm gonna pick up my last bar, and then I'm gonna pick up a loop in the very last chain. And the close is gonna be the same. So we're just going, instead of um, doing the slip stitch, it's just gonna be the yarn over and pull through two loops all the way to the beginning of your row. Now, if you're gonna do the color change, then you're gonna wanna leave two loops on your hook. So I'll see you right over here in just a sec. Okay, so I'm back to the beginning of the row. I've got two loops on my hook, and I'm gonna grab my new color. And I'm just gonna hold it back there for the time being. 
So with your last two loops, you're gonna draw your new color through both of those loops. And then we're just gonna single crochet in the first vertical bar here. Then we're going to make a right side increase. We're going to pick up the next vertical bar, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through two loops to the beginning of each row. Okay, now let's do our right side increase. Okay, so this bar is occupied. So we've done our right side increase. We've got our new bar right here and the one that's occupied. So insert your hook into your new bar right here. come over to the next bar from your previous triangle. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops to the beginning of the row. Right side increase. We've got our unoccupied bar over here. We've got our bar that's occupied. And then we have our new bar and the one next to it. So after each increase, you're gonna have one more bar. And now we're ready to pick up our bar from the previous triangle. And you want to hold your work so that your stitches stay nice and flush. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So you're going to continue each triangle this way. And of course when we finish this triangle I'll meet you guys so that we can start the third triangle. And then for the fourth triangle you'll be on your own and then we'll be ready to finish up. So go ahead and make your triangle and I'll see you in just a bit. Okay so let's close this row out and then I'll meet you guys over here. So we've grabbed our last bar, we've worked that stitch and so we're just going to insert our hook into the chain here with your tail. Yarn over and slip stitch into the last loop just like before and then continue with your yarn over pull through two. Okay so we're back to the beginning of the row and let's just do our color change. We're in a single crochet in the next bar. Skip your first into the next bar, single crochet. Make your right side increase. Pick up a loop in the next bar from the previous triangle. Yarn over and pull through two loops to the beginning of the row. Increase your new bar, your next bar from the previous triangle. All right, you guys, go ahead and make this triangle and one more and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so we've got all four triangles and now we're just gonna sew it together. 
we're gonna sew the first the first triangle to the last triangle go ahead and make your last stitch pull your yarn up and leave enough yarn to sew okay so we have our yarn snipped and we're gonna sew it together but first we're going to join so insert your needle into not this little baby loops right here, but the ones right next to it. And we're not really gonna use this space. We're just gonna kinda close it in, and then we're gonna insert our needle into the stitch that we were just finishing. And that's gonna be our new space. Okay, so from here, we're gonna fold our item like this, and what we're gonna do is we're going to match up loops for loops. This way, your item ends up looking nice and flat. So we've got these loops right here, you're just gonna match up. just like this all the way down and you don't want to pull it like super tight you just want to pull it closed all right so go ahead and follow this method all the way to down here and then we will close up our square and put our border on all right so we've sewn down to the very end and as you can see your your first tail over here is kind of like already wrapped around and you can just like pull that closed just like that weave this over and just do a really simple tie off All right, let's get ready for the border. All right, you guys, this is gonna be perhaps the easiest border ever. Okay, I'm gonna size down in hooks. So I was using a seven millimeter. I'm gonna size down to a six and a half. And we're gonna start out with a standing single crochet. So all you do is just make your slip knot. Just like this pick up our item and you're just gonna see how it's to the back you're just gonna insert your hook into one of those stitches keeping your tail to the back and bring your working yarn up it's gonna make a single crochet and then we're gonna chain one single crochet in the same stitch and you're gonna do this in every stitch around, including the corners. There's no need to do three single crochets in the corner. You're just gonna follow the same thing. So, single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. And go all the way around. All right, so I'll see you guys in just one second. Okay, so we have finished our last stitch. We've got our standing single crochet. So what we're going to do is pull our yarn through and just leave enough to tie off. And we're just gonna do an invisible close. So take your needle and you're gonna bypass this first loop right here and you're going to come in and to the chain one. Insert your needle back into the stitch you were just finishing. All right. We're finished. Okay, you guys, as usual, 
I love hanging out with you. Thank you so much for letting me be in your life and letting us share crochet moments. All right, so please leave me a comment. I'll chit chat with you guys in the very near future. Peace out. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan? Is it play? On a plane? Hydroplane? Or is it plane? What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan?